Nito kwa da komuni togeni eroreri a Citizen Digital hamari toje tolo itera wa mugi na ha tu park in na tu hamu na joroge wa gideji. I I did 16 years in Ruiru Stadium and I saw a lot of love. Well, up to date, I still want to go and meet those people in person, which is not possible. An accident in 2019, which has changed my way of looking at things because I felt how life you can lose it. You thought it was yours. Life is not even yours. Leave alone the phone that you are holding. It's not yours. Actually, I want to take a degree in philosophy. Why? I find philosophy. You see, philosophy they call they say it's the love of wisdom. That's what I want to be. I want to be a wise person. I want to impact on people. Um, the little things I know, <laughs> but that's that's, that's I, cool. I, that is like, I was I was going, I was going, and then mm -hmm. somewhere in there I mm -hmm. started thinking. FM TV. And then it just went. Nainoro TV. Uh, we do it again. Jitabu we try. We try again. Let me try and see if I was the one doing it. Uh -huh. Ah, okay, we come here to citizen digital. Karibu sana vini wata fara na ya behind the mic na vini wa studio. I think I've tried it. Eh? You've tried. Right. But then you do that all the time. No, ungeza mafanya na English. Ukwapa we just showing off with what you do. Oh, I try in English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Uh, no, actually, do it in Swahili. What time is now it? Now that you're busy here what showing off. No, do it no in time. Swahili. Karibu sana mpenzi mtazamaji wa tarifa hii ama kipindi hiki cha behind the mic. Mimi naitwa Anjoro Gedebenji na tuna mwenzetu hapa ambaye ndiye mtangazaji. Mimi ni mpenzi mtazamaji kama wewe. Anaitwa Idira Mwangi. You done well. I can't well remember. Done. But I used to do it in Swahili somewhere. You used to do Swahili? Yes, I did Swahili sports. English Oh yes, sports. you did. Yes. yes, yes for a year. It is so interesting that you actually did sports mm -hmm. in Swahili. Yeah. Which is very far from what you do now. So different from what you do now. The switch was not easy. I can, I can imagine. See, like... Even here now, I'm trying to think about... <laughs> uh, when you ask me a question, I have to think, how am I going to respond? Are you translating it in your head? Yes, I have You're to. You, I have to. I have to. Do you need time? Like, every time I ask a question, do you need me to give you time to translate it first? So that you can... <laughs> yeah, no, I have to look... Uh, I have to... I have to count how many R's and L's in that sentence so that I can be able to prepare my tongue. Bro, to Kofamoja. Especially <laughs> from where? Anyway. To Kofamoja. Yes. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Behind the Mic. My name is Cynthia Mwangi, and today I have a wonderful friend. I mean, I could call him many other things, but I'm calling him a wonderful friend because that is exactly what he is. He is an anchor and... Um, a wonderful human being from Inora TV, now, immense knowledge, especially as far as media is concerned, and he will share some of that with us, including his journey, which will then have his Swahili, his Kikuyu, his is there English. Yes. Yeah, his English. Not a lot. Eh? Well, you're, you're very vast in these things. Not a lot. If it's uh, if it's the uh, Kikuyu cuisine, <laughs> it's uh, the, the water is the English part. <laughs> no, Kikuyu is the English part. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if I'll be humorous <laughs> enough, but, but the last time I was able to do these things without laughing. Okay. No, to we All shall right. try and keep it very professional. Okay. We're going to okay. be like serious people. Okay. Karibu sana, hapa. Asante, and thank you so much for referring me to you as a to you as a friend. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes. I mean, yes. I have very few of those, so it, it's it's good to have somebody. It's hard to find one. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm happy to be one of them. Yeah, please. You can take a bow now. What can I say? Anyway, anyway. so, mm -hmm. Gedeji, yes. tell us one thing. Yes. How yes. did you land mm -hmm. in media, for starters? I mean, is it something that you woke up one day when you were young, you're like, that's my thing? I, I think I loved media from time immemorial. And to be very honest, we didn't have a television set at home, so even working for TV was also to cure. Is it the word cure? A curiosity that I had. Mm. How do people get on a television set? When I was wapi? Because I remember I used to go to those places that had TV set. You yeah. know, that was Great Wall. Mm -hmm. And it was always pinned on the wall. Mm. So I would wait until the owners would leave and try to go and peep the, the door and see. And figure out. Those guys that are on TV, how did they get there? But also, um, I wanted to be a journalist. I didn't know exactly what it is, but that's what I wanted to do. Because mm -hmm. when I went to high school, which I'll say it's still um, somewhere interior, the Dongori. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I found myself 
becoming the chairman of a journalism club at Form 3, which has never happened. Oh, you see, so the chairman were at, at Form 4 levels. Yes, yes, yes. I was a chairman for two years. Mm -hmm. That was a long time ago. Actually, it was some years after before Asana won the league the last time. <laughs> And I hope you're not an Arsenal fan. It's the violence. It's <laughs> I the know violence. the Arsenal fans will hate me for this, but it was not meant for it. No, was it's just okay. A I'm, I'm a money fan. I don't us. care. They banter us very bad. Yes, especially, high Kianda. Uh, with Maguire. <laughs> and they like, they, they don't give us peace. Especially your guy called oh, Kianda. Yes, Kianda, absolutely. Kianda, Kianda doesn't no give me peace, peace at the yeah. yeah. So you were saying? So um, at school, I was the chairman of journalism club. Mm -hmm. And you see what we used to do? These are the days now I look back retrospectively and see yes. how it helped and shaped my life mm. because at Kumothai Boys where I went to school we used to have the journalism club and you know what you used to do mm -hmm. you go for the newspapers from the news from the head teacher's office mm -hmm. you come and compile and have someone read aloud oh, at the assembly nice. so Kumram Ramagaveti started <laughs> that's a newspaper review for you yeah, 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 started so many, so many years mm -hmm. back and now these are days I'm looking at it, I'm doing it, but I never thought that I would do it so many years later. That is so interesting. And um, my, my, my view of journalism was not TV mm -hmm. or even broadcast or sprint. Yeah. I love writing. Mm -hmm. I was a good writer. Mm -hmm. I used to lead in um, writing um, compositions, dramas. So I love writing. Mm -hmm. How I landed in broadcast, it's got me of doing things which have no control. Uh -huh. Yeah. So then you clear high school, yeah. then I, what happened? I didn't have money to go to college, so I stayed at home for mm -hmm. nine years, doing all the menial jobs that you can think of. Mm -hmm. Kazi Asulubu, that is quarry. Uh -huh. There was a, even a time I was a soldier. Actually, I was a soldier. You know soldier, Mile uh -huh. Bajaki for used to, <laughs> you take a rungu, and then you go and um, stay in someone's farm mm -hmm. at night. You milk for someone's cows. Mm. I have done all those things that any boy would do in the village until I got money and went to a city college. Then when I went years. to the city college, uh -huh. because there was still no money, yeah. then after doing the city college one, mm -hmm. I did not finish. A friend of mine hooked me up with a radio station, mm -hmm. Kameme FM. Yes, yes, yes. I will have to say it. Mm -hmm. um, so when I joined Kameme, that's when I got some cash and went to the University of Nairobi. Uh -huh. And that's when I did my first professional course that was... DPR, mm -hmm. that's Diploma in Public Relations. Yes. Um, then um, I went to Kenya Methodist University. Mm -hmm. I did Bachelor's of Arts mm -hmm. in Journalism and Mass Communication mm -hmm. as I went growing. Then I also got scholarship. From where we are, a stone throw away, that's why I was, or I'm still doing yes, my yes, yes. Master's in uh, Digital Journalism. Mm -hmm. I haven't defended my thesis so right. That's and I don't want my supervisor to hear this because I've delayed it for so long. Is there a reason? The second yeah. the second the, the third <laughs> and the, 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 the two two classes be behind me have graduated but I just took time mm. and um, work on myself first. Yeah, absolutely that's good. Uh, I want to be in harmony as I do my mm -hmm. thesis and defense. Yeah that's where I am. Mm -hmm. um, my journey in media started uh, 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but I started as a sport journalist. Yes. I did in one station for eight years, mm -hmm. joined another one and did a year. And you see, the, the, uh, the first one I was doing both Kikuyu on radio and Swahili on TV and reporting in English. What? <laughs> <laughs> Anchoring was what? in Swahili. Anchoring was in Swahili. Uh -huh. Anchoring on radio was in Kikuyu. And the reporting was in English. First of all, on behalf of all the people from the mountain. Yes. Well done. Well, I, oh I, don't, know well done. I don't know how. And I went to just village schools. I cannot right. say that I went to... Those like schools. an Ivy League or Actually, my or... primary school, I would say it is called Ngema Primary School. Mm -hmm. It's in Gidongori. Mm -hmm. It's still a polling station and I'm a member, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a registered voter there. <laughs> Mad respect to all polling stations. We yes. are all from there. We thank God. That's how we came up. Yes. Um, high school, I told you, I also told you about the, my professional training. Yes, yes, yes. And then I landed in Oro. You know, I had applied to become a sport anchor, anchor. and a sports on Inoro TV. Yes, yes, yes. And a sports editor. Mm. But uh, as they say, some of these things don't just happen. Mini Lijipata Tuniliambiwa, Ibu Anza Kusahama Mbe Sports. And it's very hard to take away spots from me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't understand how someone can tell you how to. 
it was very hard to transition. Mm. Uh, because of sports, eh? sports is very fair. Yes. It's either you won or you lost. Or lost. Yeah. In politics, it doesn't happen like that. Not the same. <laughs> So you can like win and say you didn't, you can lose and say you didn't. And uh, go and, to court. And there is no draw. Absolutely, there is none. Uh, and uh, so uh, that's why I hated politics. Mm. So I, when I joined Inoro, Kamau Kangebe, right. my co-host, yes, yes, yes. Uh, left Inoro mm-hmm. to come and do the political bit. Mm-hmm. But for the newspaper review, you remember how I used to do, uh, what do you call it? Now the review. The, the ko- Komura Muria. Yeah, Komura I got Muria. It. Bit. I got, no, I don't got it. Oh my Komura God. Komura Muria is like. Komura Muria. Get bits and bits from. It's, okay. Yeah, okay. Because you cannot do it. Uh, the, a paper has got like 70 pages mm-hmm. and you only have like 40 minutes. So if you have to do it every page, that would mean you do it until Matemo. Matemo is our 4 pm bulletin. Mata what now? Matemo. Mata who? Matemo is Kama Sasa <laughs> Mukhtasari. Okay. <laughs> Uh-huh. Mm. So um, that's how I found myself in the media, and it's been a very, very, very interesting journey, especially now coming to know people that I would never have known. Mm-hmm. You know, when I was doing sports, Kikuis are not very passionate about sports. No, no, now, we're not, honestly. Uh, when now the Premier League and everything has started mm. hitting people, especially you see, there is also a chance to make money. That's how yes. now. <laughs> that, that's what's Alas, now it makes sense. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> but now uh, during those times when I was doing the sports in other stations, I, I only knew people who was who are in sports. But now I know people. I know people. Mm-hmm. Actually, me I'm not known people. people. I know people. You know people. Yes. And people know of you. I don't know if they know me, but I know people. I, I meet people on the street and I say, hey, I know you, how are you? They're like, huh, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 absolutely. I know yeah. you too. Yeah. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So how has the journey changed for you? I mean, it's not every day you hear somebody got retrenched and still figured their way out of it or into the journey. I think, I think God has a way of doing things. Mm-hmm. The, the ways of God, the, the ways of God, are miraculous. Sometimes you don't know what to, will happen tomorrow. That's why I don't worry about today. Yeah. Because today is the tomorrow I was worried about yesterday. Mm-hmm. When I go, lost my job, I just told God, why now? When I was beginning to be known. Mm-hmm. So I said, Toby Menda, you now, why? But I have not figured it out and I could not. So the difference between what you're feeling today and your future is time. It, oh, right. That's true. Yeah. That's absolutely so true. It, no, so retrogressively now I can tell I was mad at that time. I didn't know how to react. I didn't know. Mm-hmm. The time healed everything. Now I'm very happy that I lost my job where I lost it. Yeah. I'm happy about what I'm going through today. Mm-hmm. I'm grateful to God for the opportunity to work at Royal Media. Because Royal Media, you remember the, the latest service said that we are most trusted brand. Absolutely. It's good to work with the best. Yeah. Actually, when I met Jeff Koinanga here at Royal Media, we had worked at another station. Another before, station together. Previously. Yeah. So we knew. And, and, and in the media, you're more likely to meet someone you have met previously. Yeah, in a different so it's place. Like a circle. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, so now that we know you in media, yeah. who is Joroke Wagedeji away from all that? I'm a humorous person. I'm just a kawaida person. The, the Kamudogani Shagi, I love it. When uh-huh. I go to the village, I'm not different. Mm-hmm. They say, I'm going to have to because I, I can walk oh, yeah. there barefoot at home. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to do it. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a story. 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 What are the things that you do away from now work? Assuming work is not a thing for you. Well, nowadays I like reading. Mm-hmm. Um, I read inspirational articles. Yes. Not hard books. I, actually, I'm a PDF guy. I don't like I don't like the hard stuff. Oh my God! Are you kidding? I, I do soft copy. I do audio books. We have lost you. <laughs> We're Potesa members, millennials. We have lost a member. Unfortunately, so. And, uh-huh. I, 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 and, and, and I also like listening to philosophy. Right. Actually, I want to take a degree in philosophy. Why? I find philosophy. You see, philosophy we call we say it's the love of wisdom. Mm-hmm. That's what I want to be. I want to be a wise person. I want to impact on people mm-hmm. um, the little things I know. Because uh, you cannot say, having worked seven years at, at Inoro, yes. and you have a guest every day, you're not mm-hmm. picking anything from them. Some are doctors, some are priests, some are pastors, mm-hmm. everything, every kind of a person. So as I ask questions, I'm also learning. So there are things I have learned that I need to now start impact, impacting mm-hmm. on people in my own way now. 
getting what you like if i listen to you on a saturday morning mm-hmm. i'll pick something if i listen to uh igonza on um, on hot 96 yes uh fans are just takatifu <laughs> and those guys are crazy by the way mm-hmm. yeah so when if i listen i get bits and bits and i'm able to combine all those things and they make me able to socialize better mm-hmm. work with people very well i relate with people i make friends very easily mm-hmm. Uh, the losing part, I don't want to talk about it because it's the same yes. for measure. Mm-hmm. You, um, if you're not negative and toxic, I have no time for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and what got you to this space? Uh, there was I, I had an accident in 2019. Eh? Mm-hmm. It has changed my way of looking at things because I felt how life you can lose it. You thought it was yours. Life is not even yours. Mm-hmm. Leave alone the phone that you are <laughs> holding. It's not yours. Yeah. The owner will come for it mm-hmm. at some point. Uh, I'm talking about now life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started now looking at life from a very different perspective. Mm-hmm. That the best thing that you can do in this world is to do good. Mm-hmm. Not because someone is watching, not because it is the right thing to do, but just do good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, most people usually have that like a form of awakening yeah. when that is happening. You realize in a snap you can lose everything. What, and what, everything is life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What was happening at that point? Like, what caused or what was leading to? Was it one of those things that happened I I had, abruptly? I, 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 I felt like I was overworking myself. Uh-huh. I was um, the good guy, the Mr. Nice guy. Yeah. Like, since I don't want to come to work today, you tell me, Nishkiliye. Ukundani. I was the utility player. Mm-hmm. In the football match, that is that utility player. <laughs> okay. They just work. They just work. Yes. Just work. <laughs> yes. Follow for using, or every time I use the, um, what do you call it, the uh, analogy sports. Yes, yes, of yes. sports. Eh? Mm. Um, so it helped me to reorganize myself, became better. Mm-hmm. I'm not the best, but I'm better than I was before the accident. Yeah. And um, also learning from other people. Mm-hmm. That. You're alive. That's the most important thing. Doesn't matter how you're feeling. Your body could be saying no, but why would you have to? Your brain is the most powerful part of the body. Mm-hmm. If it tells you no, you say no. I'll also say no. Let's yeah. see what it means. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what are the, like some of the key things for you that you're very intentional on? Yeah. Because of the kind of life that you're leading now. I take time to rest. I take time with my family. Mm-hmm. Uh, I call a friend once. If I see a, uh, a week has gone without us talking, mm-hmm. I call deliberately so. Mm-hmm. Not to, I don't tell them I'm checking on you because it's also a polite way of telling you yeah. I love you. <laughs> and because we don't say those things. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, also, something else that I also learned is uh, uh, praying, sometimes praying. Mm-hmm. Um, also, keeping my mind busy there is a there is a there is a a philosopher who died so many years ago and mm-hmm. he was telling he was saying it's called uh plato there is a Piticus, there is plato mm-hmm. there is um aurelius mm-hmm. they always tell you about the impermanence of life so you always keep on saying that when you die what you'll be remembered for so i still mm-hmm. work on my legacy right. what will people remember me for that also taught me that every time i go to work i tell god to give me kind words because kindness is the only thing that doesn't cost a thing and mm-hmm. can transform the world. Just being kind. That, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Very few people will connect um, philosophy and religion because it feels like they cannot share the same space or the same platform. Well, yes, because sometimes if you go deep in philosophy, you start questioning about the existence of God. Mm-hmm. And I, but I, I'm a true believer. Mm-hmm. I'm a Catholic by faith. Mm-hmm. Um, anyone who tries to question about the existence of God I can say it's bordering on folly. If you don't believe there is a God, just go to the oceans and see who, who controls those water. Yeah, true. Who controls that water? Who, who controls the space? Uh-huh. You, you can, con- and what, how much can you control, by the way? Very little, actually. Here. You cannot even control where your car is parked. But I can't even control that I may or may not fall, I don't know. You only control what you can see, touch, and hear. Uh-huh. That's the only thing, and it's me you <laughs> see. <laughs> it's where we are. And um, so, um, philosophy and religion, um, I look at those things that are very positive, Mm -hmm. but when it comes to religion, I don't question people's religion, I don't Mm -hmm. judge people, I don't condemn. Mm -hmm. What you think about your God is how I think about my God, Mm -hmm. but like I've told you, I'm a Catholic. Yes. So I go to church Mm -hmm. whenever I can, Uh, and then because of the nature of my job, I attend so many different denominations, Mm -hmm. like 
PCA could call me on a Sunday, I go. Because mm -hmm. I believe God is universal. Yes. God does not belong to one particular religion or mm -hmm. denomination. That is, that is really deep. Do, yeah. do other people share the same belief with you or you just let each person be? Yeah, it's very hard to control what people think. Because that's the, that's the, way, of, that's the way of life. Mm -hmm. The only thing that you can control is how you feel. And how you, you I can control my opinion, mm -hmm. but I can control, I cannot control what other people will say or think. Like for example, if you say Catholics are, do not believe in God, it's an opinion. Yeah, it's yours. Which I have no control over. Mm -hmm. But what about myself? I, mm -hmm. I, I, I believe in spirituality and mm -hmm. I have a connection with my God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and angling on the fact that you cannot control what other people say. Yeah. You had a quite um, some wonderful feedback yeah. when you joined. <laughs> yes. So when you joined uh, RMS and uh, Inoro. It was, it was very floral, very wonderful. Yeah, people, yeah? people will go. We, 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 the, the, the worst thing about our job is that when you lose your job, nobody calls you. Yeah, you absolutely. Like, you remember that piece who said that uh, it's like your phone is... Vitang and Demo. Let me tell yes. you, I remember his name to this day because of that. Yeah. So when I went to Inoro, the, my phone almost jammed. But I also learned something. Let the congratulatory messages come. Mm -hmm. I have no control over what they do. Yes. I have control over what I do with that information. Mm -hmm. So what they tell me, some of them were very genuine. They were telling me how to become better. Yes. And I learned from other people. Mm -hmm. Others were critics. I, I take positive criticism. Mm -hmm. I even take negative criticism yeah, because yeah. I think everything is about lessons. It, it's coming from I learn somewhere. From people. It's yeah. very easy for a wise person to learn from um, the questions of a fool mm -hmm. than it is the other way around. Trust a philosopher to say that. <laughs> like, no, I'm not a philosopher. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trust a philosopher, a philosopher, philosopher to say something but, like that. But um, trust me, the, our job sometimes is a kuwa na Sana. Uh, when you go to a function, you want to be noticed. You can go because of time. At you are able to wake up and and, and wave people. Oh my God, okay, you know that. You are not at that level. No, I'm not at that <laughs> level. My level is that I even go and sit at the back mm -hmm. because could go with a good crowd. That's where you call. <laughs> that's where you learn. That's where you learn things. Yeah. When you go to the people, in terms of stature and um, maybe job, mm -hmm. um, those people that are seen like the they are not very, very influential. That's mm -hmm. why I learn. Yeah. So I have made friends with soldiers, cooks, and those people that you may ignore at some point. Mm -hmm. Those are my friends. Well, our, our field can be very... Ha, huh, what's the word? Let me look for the word. Because um, it's built on words, right? Yeah. And what people think about you. Yeah. And you'll find, especially young people who are coming into the industry, yeah. Akiangalia tu pale Facebook, a person in a comment tu moja. Mm. Out of the many that are saying, oh, you did a great job on behind the mic, you were doing fantastic city, your questions were great, and then someone pale chini. The top you were wearing was bad. Mm. The shoes were not. Mm. Your questions are not even well thought out of. Apo yeah. Yeah. That's is, where you get stuck and you hang on to that one thing. It, it is very, it is, it is human to look at the one missing point in a hundred. Mm -hmm. like for example, you have a hundred and you have 99 already. But that other one, you ask yourself, where is it? Where is it? And even it's in the Bible. Yeah. That one negative comment can haunt you for a whole week. Mm. You even go to the page of that person <laughs> when you don't know yourself where better, <laughs> yeah, when, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you are not in control of yourself. Mm -hmm. Like now me, I am. Uh, I've, it has been a journey and I've not yet gotten there. Mm -hmm. um, you go to the page of that person, then you start even giving yourself justification about yeah. that other person. Mm. So it is affecting you. It shouldn't. What you should, if someone says something negative, it's like the way you walk anywhere. You don't expect to meet only the good people. Mm -hmm. it, is, it, is, it would be st stupid to think that everyone is good. Yes. So just say that that is the one bad person mm -hmm. unfortunately came to your home and you just did good to them. If they say something negative about how you look, but the shaming is stupidity because mm -hmm. you have nothing to do with your genes. Yeah. How you look like, you did not have anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. If they say you're ugly, it is your interpretation of the word ugly mm -hmm. that will affect you. Like, for example, if you tell me I'm ugly, fair enough. Mm -hmm. When you're coming to me, you're not coming to me because of looks. So for me, that's a positive. Mm -hmm. It depends on how I interpret um, 
those negative comments. I've not found many on my page because maybe of the because of the job I do. Yes. But um, even if it was to happen, how much can change me from being Jiroga Wagedenji? Because it's a brand that God made for me. Mm-hmm. The people, the same people who are trying to destroy are the one that made it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then I, I'm, I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad that you're even speaking about brands. Yeah. Um, I was about to ask you, great. Now, na kumbuka event uli kwanayo. Na kumbuka event uli kwanayo. Yeah, I, I did 16 years in Ruiru Stadium. Mm-hmm. And I saw a lot of love. Mm-hmm. Well, up to date, I still want to go and meet those people in person, <laughs> which is not possible. <laughs> and tell them thank you for bringing back the belief. You know, also, uh, uh, one thing about the, the flip side is that if people don't appreciate you, you feel bad. Everyone yeah. wants to be appreciated. Yeah, yeah. So they appreciated me and coming. There was a time I went to Nanyuki in one of the pubs, eh? mm-hmm. and a, a certain lady, a waiter, I will not say her name, came over and told me, I paid my bus fare to come to Wiru because of the event. That moved me. That was, was incredible. That was really something. Yeah. And uh, that event also taught me that uh, there are still good people out there. There are still good people out there. Mm-hmm. They came in large numbers. Mm-hmm. I did not offer them food. But they came. Uh, they came from 10. Yeah. I was somewhere watching and waiting patiently for me to now make the grand entry. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and when you saw those people and knowing that they came just because of you, you tell God, thank you. You have no words. The emotions were... I actually, I was overwhelmed. I don't think if, 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 if you know how much... We love football. I've never cried in a final. But that time I cried. <laughs> but not till I... But... The, the, yeah. the tears rolled down and I was, I was asking myself, I was pinching, are you, are you serious? You're crying. Mm. Your daughter is somewhere watching. Yeah. She was there, mm. my daughter. And, and, and um, she asked me, Oh. That, was, that was something and I, it, was, it gave me an impetus to become better, mm-hmm. more humble. I want to work on my humility, mm-hmm. I want to work on my kindness, mm-hmm. and I also want to work on uh, moderation and modesty. It's the modesty that, for yeah, me. Yeah, because I think compassion, humility and modesty and moderation are some of the things that I have to really keep on improving. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you don't know what is humility. Yeah, sure. And I don't want it to be contextual or situational. That you, you are good to people who, are, who recognize you. Yes. But when you go to people who don't recognize you, you know. then you are something else. Mm. Like you, you we, we could say you're on two extremes. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't sound like the same person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Some people you see them today on this situation, wait until you see them in another element. You'll not even, you'll be shocked. Like so I want to be, I want to be what I am on TV mm-hmm. and away from TV. It's the same Just thing. Simple Kenyan, only that I'm in a position of privilege mm-hmm. and I don't want to abuse it. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's really wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, you want to grow and change the way things are right now, right? Yeah. What is or who is Joroge in two years? COVID has taught us planning is for nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> let's give it like, where do you see yourself? Well, planning is not bad. Worrying is. Yes. What we do is that we worry so much about the future. Mm-hmm. But planning is good, it's, it's constructive. Worrying is a, it's a problem. It's a destructive yes. one. Yes. So I keep planning. I would want to plan to have a good exit mm-hmm. at some point because we will not be there forever. Yeah. So when you exit, what do you exit with? What do you leave the people with? Mm-hmm. I want to leave people with um, kindness, more kindness. And more humanity. There are things I didn't know. Now I know them. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't know that uh, body shaming is bad and destructive. Mm-hmm. You'd say, I wear Tanakabi by according to who? Based on what? You'd think that every girl that you see on the road is to be touched. Mm-hmm. Now you know better. You need consent. Not only consent, you also need 
to ask other people. You are not the only one. You are accountable mm-hmm. to someone else. Mm-hmm. So things keep on changing and you, you evolve to become a better person mm-hmm. by the interaction and the people that you hold dear to your life. Mm-hmm. You must also respect them. So uh, kindness, humility, more moderation, I will still that mm-hmm. modesty. Okay. You don't have to go showing people how wise I am, how or how. Yeah, right? <laughs> yes. You should seek counsel. <laughs> And you learn mm. from even the worst. By the way, you learn from the worst, not not the worst, mm-hmm. from the most unlikely scenarios. That's right. what you learn. You uh-huh. learn from the most unlikely persons. Like what is what is the one thing you learned that you never expected you'd learn from someone? I went to Gekomba the other day. Uh-huh. Gekomba, there is a place called Komba Munyeri. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, oh, a, yes. it's a very famous road along there. So I met one man. I will not see his name uh-huh. because he will know. Um, so I asked him. He did not go to high school, mm-hmm. but he's a, a rich person. I asked him, how do you survive and employ people who are wiser than you? Can they steal from you? I can hear, if you are a cat, don't know, don't la- don't tell or don't let the mice know where you live or, or how you, or where you are. Uh-huh. I asked him, please explain further. He told me when I go to one of to, to my workers, mm-hmm. I tell them, no, my eyes are here, <laughs> and don't tell anyone. Then you go to the other person, you tell them that so all of them know their eyes. Aha! Uh-huh. You're a very smart man. That was very immense from a person who, has not, who doesn't have the, what we'd call knowledge from books, yes. but knowledge from, and, and wisdom mm-hmm. from interaction and knowing from the ground. Ground is where the education is. It's not the Abitabu, it's written by someone in Europe, someone in the UK, someone in the US. Mm-hmm. Like who said that PhD is the farthest you can go? Nobody did actually. So after PhD what happens? Good question. What happens after that? Those are questions that philosophers should ask. Well, hey, <laughs> I am in such luck because I'm sitting next to a philosopher. No, I'm not a philosopher. <laughs> I'm just, no, 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 no. I'm just Jeragoang, the minority. No, 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 no. no you, you are a philosopher. So mm-hmm. please, oh, I sage, tell us. What? What? Hmm? <laughs> ask, ask, ask a question. I'll try to answer. No question. But look at it from, from that from, end. From PhD, then what? Yeah. And who sets that's who set that exam and said that the highest a person can do? So someone else out there has gone through. That's what I think. Is it, is it scary that sometimes it looks like there's somebody who has... Yeah, we are controlled. Really? What makes you say that? Unfortunately, from, from research, you will mm-hmm. notice that there are people who control you, who control how you think, mm-hmm. by their religion, by their education, by even the ma- the money they lend mm-hmm. in the country, ah, so we, we, we are still under, and, 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 I, and I think with the with the resources that we have as Africans, we don't need to go begging. But because it's wasted, like I told you, you have five penalties, you you miss yours. The other team wins, yes. and they have control. You, you sound like a huge uh, Pan African. I I, 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 I used I, to I, like Gaddafi uh-huh. and his. And his um, policies that he wanted to have a United States of Africa. Why yes. not? And it made sense. Absolutely. Why not? We, 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 are better stro- we are better together. Do you think it's possible? No. You see, Anglophone and Francophone, they, they want to do things their own way. Then yeah. we also even have Portuguese, the Angolan, the Mozambicans. They mm-hmm. want to do their own way. Mm-hmm. So what do we do? South Africa want to, Nigeria want to be the, bigger, the big brother. The, 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 the North Africans want to join Europe. Mm-hmm. We are left with what? Eritrea, Djibouti, Kenya, and maybe Uganda. <laughs> anyway, we're not going to that in that, but if you look at it from that end, yeah. there is so much that we need to do. Mm-hmm. And, but also we also need to be honest. We are not honest. We are not honest before we we want to be rich. We want to be rich. Yeah, m- most people do. But what is what is enough? How much is enough? Like if I ask you, anything above our necessity is a bonus and you leave it here. Mm-hmm. I I I I I would want to be rich but not at the expense of someone's happiness. So rich versus wealthy? Well, wealth is when they say that it, you can, it is generational, you can even live, you could, you could be rich, but either way, everything is contextual, mm-hmm. everything is situational, everything depends on how you look at it and your biases. You know, we all have societal, yeah, some form of uh, bias. Ideas <laughs> and your bias. So yes. there is nothing absolute. That's the only thing, that's the greatest but, lesson in life, uh-huh. and life is impermanent. Wow. Until you go to our owner. One day we will. 
I have had to, I have sat on this space yeah. with so many people. Yeah. But I don't think I ever sat on this space with a philosopher. Never. But I'm not a philosopher. But I don't understand. Maybe I mean, I aspire to be one. Most people. But I'm nowhere near. It, I, I will tell you, like most people, the ones that you mentioned, right? Yeah. I don't think at that point they thought or they saw themselves as. Well, I don't know. I don't know. But I would imagine so. So yeah. until much later, we started referring to them as philosophers. Yeah. The impermanence of life is the greatest lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Impermanence. As it's, in, it is transient. Uh -huh. you, you do, you do, you, you're the one who does English every day. <laughs> Maisha, ni Ma? Yeah. yeah. Like, for example, if you do 70 years, which mm -hmm. is 3,600 weekends, minus this one, you have how many? If you have done 40 years like me, oh my God. How, many, how many do you have? <laughs> Listen, just positive vibes, yeah? Yeah, okay. Thanks. Just positive vibes, that's where we are. Yeah, be, be, be kind to people, be good to people. Mm -hmm. And not because someone is watching. When you do something good, you feel good about it. You, 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 when you give, mm -hmm. you feel good. And that's the most important thing. That's wonderful. Because what we do, uh, this, 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 this I'll teach in a, in a, uh, for a pay. Pleasure and happiness. In a philosophy, did I not see? Pleasure? This philosophy class. Uh -huh. You see, pleasure is very temporary. Right. Um, happiness is eternal. Something long term. So pleasure, like pleasure is. Pleasure is uh, like when you take a beer to get high. You need another beer tomorrow. Or ice cream on a very hot day. When you do, when you hug something that has been bothering you, mm -hmm. as an achievement, it gives you happiness. That's happiness. It's yeah. joy. It's internal. It's, yes, it's endurable. Yeah. It's enduring. As in, you're, it's durable. So let's not go for pleasure. Let's go for happiness. <laughs> so I am looking forward to two things. One. Yeah. You being a lecturer and you don't have to say it because I know it's coming. Yeah. And two, a book or several. I've been writing now. Oh, there you go. What I'm doing is journaling mm -hmm. because I I write what I feel. Right. Uh, I write what I observe, but not every day, not religiously. So, so I can pick and bit the bits and bits and do a book, mm -hmm. and I know it will be a good book. I look forward to it. Yeah. I am honestly looking forward to it. You would want to read? Yes! When I read about how I, fe how I feel, when I see, when I go to social media and see how people are doing, how people are wasting their time bashing someone who they don't see and don't know. Totally unrelated to them though. It's virtual, yeah. actually it's yeah. virtual. I would rather I, I abuse you direct to the eye when I know I'm looking Is at that you. That makes how many people have the... Let me not use the word. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so it's much. On the TV. <laughs> how many people have the guts to abuse you directly? None but when they whatsoever. hide on the keyboard, they say so many nasty things. Yeah, keyboard warriors, but quite a number. But it is what they are. It's a projection of them. Yeah. yeah. They want you to be like them. They want you to feel the pain they are in. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't. The Tukana Vilonataka, it's your own business. Chamuhimu. Chamuhimu is how I interpret. If you call me a dog, I can say I'm a chihuahua. It's better. It's beautiful. <laughs> ah. <laughs> hey, okay. The last time I talked to you, no, no, Joy, I'm from a show, and I'm... <laughs> yep. I'm An entire done day. My, yes, I've yeah. done my words for Even the day, you know me. <laughs> How many words are you supposed to say again? I, I understand a man is 1,500, a woman is 15,000. Bro. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. 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 With Kamau up to nine. Mm -hmm. I do the bulletin, mini bulletin. Uh, that's that's highlights at eleven. Yes. And do um, the full bulletin at one. So until two. The lights are not funny. No, they're but not. But God has kept my eyes in good shape. We thank Jesus. Yes, and I can only thank God. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you, first of all, for taking time. Yeah. Just tell us your parting shot. Because I have a feeling in a couple of years we're going to sit here again as we are reviewing your book. I, I keep, will. We will, will be reviewing your book. I don't know when you plan on releasing it because I know it's coming. But My parting shot is first of all I want to thank you for according me this opportunity. Humble. I don't take Absolutely it for, humble. I don't take it for granted. Then I also want to thank my viewer, my fan. You've made me a better person. I learn so much from you every day. I thank you so much for believing in me. It is not funny that someone can wake up every day in the morning mm -hmm. and watch you, some religiously. 
Others, they even apologize that I did not watch you this week because mm -hmm. then they have made it a family affair. Yeah. They even know when I'm not in good shape. They, when, I'm, when, I'm, when I'm on air and I'm short of, maybe I don't know the capital of Iceland, for example. Very fast. They tell you it's Rick Javik. Mm -hmm. They tell you the one for Latvia is Riga. You, 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 you don't, they, they tell you. Um, so they help you to become a better person mm -hmm. such that you may look very wise. <laughs> yep, not knowing there's an don't entire know someone else, um, nation behind you. Also, I've also learned something about teamwork. Mm -hmm. Like the morning show, we are a team of 10 or 15. The people on the background, they are very, very important. Mm. So I've also learned that you can never do anything on your own. Nothing. That's nothing, true. absolutely yeah. nothing. And so I want to thank everyone. And I hope when I get to do my book, you read from page one to the back page or the last page without <laughs> keeping it down. And I, I'm not very much on social media, by the way. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking time. Mm. Like if I was doing five, year, five hours, I want to do three. Mm -hmm. And I also want to go to the pages of people who are doing positive things. Positive, like if you're teaching people about positive living. Yes. Uh, how to cope with negativity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm, I'm also want to be, I would also want to be an ambassador for something like um, um, SGBV. Brilliant. I don't believe in violence. From whichever, if you start with the E or V, it doesn't matter. It's violence. Yeah. Not so, uh, whether it's method on a woman, or method on a boy or, uh -huh. a, or a girl, uh -huh. yeah, it is. But I'll, I'll ask you a question, and I know it's your parting show, but yeah. I'll ask you a question. Like, yeah. What is stopping you from doing it? I still do. I tell people, I, the, the, when you go for a boys club and boys talk and someone right. say, hey, I'm, over there, man. I'm like, you cannot hit a woman. You are stupid. It doesn't matter how you look at it from whether it's cultural, yeah, it religious, matter. economical, social. Mm. Hitting someone, you, you can talk. Okay, great. So I'm assuming something is coming. Okay. More purposeful on it. Great. Yeah, yeah. I want to work hard on it by even having guests deliberately with my producer. On it, yes. We have content that is going to educate people how to talk their issues out as opposed mm. to forcing them. Actually, my parting shot. <laughs> Don't alter. Adapt. Let it flow. It's just the wisdom. Let it flow. It is the wisdom. Don't change anything. Don't condemn. Let it flow. Period. Great. <laughs> I would sign out in Ikuyu, but I have no idea how to do it. Can I help you? Yes, please. It's, uh, what would I say? Nationally, we're going to have a tough fight right now. We're going to have a mic. Then we have to do it. We're going to do it on your own now. Nationally, we're going to have a tough fight right now. Tough fight right now. Mic. Not only that, we're not going to be behind. Eh, not to be behind. Eh, don't you guys? Don't don't. We're here. Eh, behind. Eh, behind the mic. Eh, na tu mana? Na tu mana? We're going to do it. Not joroge. 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 We're going to do it. Very good. Sorry, what was the first word again? No shio ni guomudia. No shio ni guomudia. Okay, let's go. No shio ni guomudia wito wa tafarira ya behind the mic. Mugeni wito umode aima ni joroge wa gedeji. And then until we see each other next time. Tosha maniye farafara. Tosha maniye farafara. Thank you so much guys for being part of this. I've enjoyed myself. I'm hoping that you had fun as well. Remember, this is Behind the Mic. We're having conversations with teams within um, Royal Media Fraternity. And not just that, if you are ever anywhere near a mic, trust and believe I'll be coming for you. My name is Cynthia Mwangi, and thank you so much, Kitenji, for making time for us. Until next time, God bless. I cannot say thank you enough. I can't.